Hi, I'm Lee Brimlow, a developer evangelist here at Adobe, and I'm with Tom Nguyen, who's a senior product manager on the Flash Runtime team. And we're here to talk about some of the great new features that are in Flash Player 11.2. How's it going, Tom? Yeah, it's pretty good, Lee. So one of the things Adobe has always been good at is driving new uh, versions of the player. So in as quick as six months, we've we can get 80% penetration on new versions of the player. There's a new feature, right, which is going to make that even faster. Yeah, it's pretty impressive what we've done so far. So like 99% of the web has Flash Player. Um, there's connected PCs, and like, you just talked about how fast the penetration of new versions is. Um, and so actually, we're going to make it even faster. So one of the big features that we're excited about in Flash Player 11.2 is back silent background updates. And so much in the way with Chrome is doing, um, mm -hmm. and Chrome already includes Flash Player, but Chrome has its silent auto updates. Um, so we're doing the same for Flash Player across all browsers. And so what it means is that your mom doesn't have to worry about like clicking an update anymore. She'll always have the latest and greatest version right. of Flash Player. So for developers, if you're building awesome content and you're taking advantage of the latest and greatest features of a new Flash Player, mm -hmm. you know that you're not going to have to wait very long before the entire web can see it. Right. And this is also this is for Windows right now, right? Yep. So we're starting with Windows in Flash Player in 11.2, and okay. we're planning to introduce the feature on Mac in a future release. Okay, great. So uh, another set of features uh, surrounds video, right? So obviously everybody knows Flash is the dominant player for video on the web, um, but what are some of the new stuff we're doing with video? Yep. So one of the things we're doing is we're actually re-architecting um, the entire video pipeline, and the work that we've done is uh, will arrive in Flash Player 11.2 and Air 3.2. So with the new technology we have called multi-threaded video decoding, we're actually decoding video in a separate thread um, mm. that happens concurrently with what you're doing with ActionScript running in the main UI thread. So the result is that you can bring, we can bring better ActionScript performance. Mm -hmm. There's less jitter. Video just plays better. And then you have improved Seek as well. Um, so by moving decoding to another thread, um, everything in terms of on the ActionScript side just performs faster. So I have more, more opportunity to do stuff I want in the main thread. Basically. Exactly. OK, cool. So in Flash Player 11, we released a new rendering engine for Flash called Stage 3D, which allows us to do amazing stuff now on the GPU. But the requirements for drivers were pretty strict, right? Yeah, yeah. so we took a pretty conservative approach to the, the drivers that we were supporting in Flash Player 11. Um, in particular, we were enabling hard, full hardware acceleration for drivers that came after January 1st, 2009. Mm -hmm. um, and so with 11.2, we're making some big strides in expanding hardware support. So you can take advantage of the full GPU on more devices than ever before. So in particular, we're taking the driver gating and moving it back so that um, even older drivers um, in, from January 1st, 2008 and onwards mm -hmm. um, will be able to take advantage of the full power of the GPU. Um, and that's actually just the start. So we're going to be doing some cool stuff in future versions to expand support even more broadly. Cool. So one of the things, obviously, Stage 3D is meant for is for games. And we've been adding some new features related to gaming. In particular, 11.2, we're, we're adding some new functionality for the mouse. Can you talk about that? Yeah, so one of the big requests that have come from game developers is uh, for mouse lock support. So they're making games like first-person shooters, or games that have like uh, you know, tactical games that have an overhead map, or just fun social casual games that have a big overhead map. And one of the problems today is that once your mouse hits the edge of the the mouse pointer hits the edge of the screen, mm -hmm. it stops. stops. Yeah, and you're yeah. not getting any more data. So what we've actually done in 11.2 is a new feature called mouse lock. So you can we can capture the mouse so that you don't have to worry about the pointer hitting the edge of the screen. Mm -hmm. In addition, um, when you're you're constantly getting mouse delta information, so mm -hmm. no matter where the mouse pointer is on the screen, as long as you're, the user is moving the mouse, you can get that information. So you can do, um, you know, do 360 rotations or right. like walk around a map in 3D space, do infinite scrolling, all cool. kinds of cool game concepts. So this is one that would be particularly helpful to actually, if we could see it in a demo. And you've told me that we have a demo of this right yeah, now. Yeah, we can show it off right now. All right, let's check it out. OK, so here's a demo of some content that's running as if it was running in an old version of Flash Player. Um, and so you can see stage 3D. It's pretty cool. You can pan around. But the mouse pointer hits the edge of the screen, and we're stuck. Yeah. Right. There's a monster behind me. Like, I'm about to shoot you. Not in a good, can't move anything, not in a good right. situation. Okay. So in Flash Player 11.2, we have this new mouse lock API that also gives deltas. So let me just hit tab in this demo to, to enable the new behavior in 11.2. Um, and so as you can see, I can keep on moving. Um, and there is no, there is no edge. It right. just keeps on going. So we can do infinite scrolling. We can walk around, do a 360, do a 1080, um, and play like all kinds of amazing games, walkthroughs, interactive content of all types. 
So while we're on the topic of uh, mouse features, we added, we've also responded to another big request we've heard from developers. Um, for a long time, people have pointed out, hey, there's more than one bu button on a lot of these mice. There's, right. um, and so we've added support for middle click and right click. So you can actually uh, listen to those events and respond accordingly. Oh, wow. So I can, let's say in a game, I can put up my own game menu, or I can use it to fire different kind of bullets and those type of things. Yep, exactly. So okay. yeah, with the right click, you can actually disable the, the default Flash Player context menu that appears on a right click and create your own context menus or use it for something, anything So we can finally want. get rid of that menu. You can get rid of that menu. Wow, that's, that's exciting. <laughs> nice. And fire missiles to your heights the light. Yeah. OK. Well, that's, that's awesome. I think that's going to enable some really great games. Now, we've been talking about stage 3D. One of the things I know people ask me every day, when is it coming to mobile? Do you have anything you can tell us or show us? Yeah. You have a tablet there. I'm assuming we, we, it's there for a purpose. Uh, I use it to browse the web sometimes and check out nice. news. But in addition, um, yeah, we can show us some cool stuff. So uh, flash content on, here's this iPad. Um, and we can show you some of the stuff we're working on with stage 3D. Um, so this is Bunny Mark. Um, you might have seen yep, it before. Yep, yep. So this is a, a common demo that's used to test performance, right? Yep. So running an iPad using uh, Flash content with Stage 3D running as an Air application. So right now, um, there's multiple layers going on. So the bunnies here uh, with varying alpha transparency, an undulating mesh in the background, and you know, more layers. Um, so we've got 100 bunnies. I'm going to tap in the corner and throw in some more. And we can see what happens. So. 500. Wow. And the frame rate just stays at 60 frames per second. That's yeah. amazing. Super smooth, locked into that 60 frames a second. We've got 1,000 bunnies on the screen. Probably more bunnies than you'll ever need. Yeah. But you can even go higher. <laughs> They're if you prolific, want. so we can add more. Right. Um, let's keep That's on That's incredible. Tapping. Keep on adding. And here we've got 3,000 bunnies on screen playing at 50, 60 frames a second on an iPad. That is unbelievable that we can get that type of performance now with Stage 3D. Now, I know the question I have and a lot of developers have is, when can we have it? Yeah, that's a great question. So we're going to be showing off some really cool stuff with Stage 3D and mobile devices. So iPhone, the iPad like this one, Android phones and tablets, and Kindle Fire and whatnot um, soon. And it's actually the final release is going to be coming out soon. Okay. Uh, so look forward to it. OK, great. Thanks, Tom. All right, so that's it for the new features coming in Flash Player 11.2. Thanks for watching.